As we showed you earlier, today is Earth Day, the 40th anniversary, and four decades after the first celebration, the Earth Day Network says the planet is in greater peril than it ever has been before. Of the many challenges, it says climate change may be the single biggest problem facing the Earth today. But with the challenges come unprecedented opportunities to build healthy and prosperous, clean energy communities. And as Astor Branchman shows us, it all begins with education. These grade one students found out today that energy conservation starts at home. How many people have mom and dad that have coffee in the morning? Of the small appliances in your kitchen, the coffee maker is the worst offender. So you can let them know now that that took up the most power in the kitchen. It's shocking how much electricity is being used and wasted at home. And the hair dryer costs the most because and it uses because it uses the most electricity. If we didn't know that, we might use it so much that we'd waste a lot of electricity. Speaking of waste, hundreds of Greater Victoria students got a head start on Earth Day yesterday, picking up garbage in their communities as part of the Tim Hortons community cleanup. Today, BFI sorted all the trash into organics, recyclables, and waste. We picked up the garbage from six schools, uh, which was 180 kilograms of total weight. Most of the items that we collected were small foil wrappers, cigarette butts, tiny little pieces of paper, and some organic material. Colquitt School picked up the most litter, 26 bags full. But it's not all garbage. It just isn't garbage anymore. It's actually a resource. There's multiple streams there. There's recyclable scrap metal that you're seeing, paper getting diverted for recycling, organics getting a separate out for composting. Those will all go to the various streams for recycling and or composting, and the residue will end up at Heartland Landfill where it's buried in our sanitary landfill operations. Whether it's learning about what we throw away. We don't throw garbage on the earth. We put it in the garbage can, recycle. We're finding out about electricity. Educators agree it's never too early to teach environmental responsibility. And so this is another way for our children to look at the environment and think about ways they can help. And every little bit counts, especially on Earth Day. In Victoria, Astrid Brownschmidt, A News.